Hi, I'm Sam from Aristotle Metadata, and in this Feature Spotlight video, we're going to look at how you can create and manage classifications in the Aristotle Metadata Registry. A classification, commonly called a statistical classification, a controlled vocabulary or reference data is a set of standardized codes and categories used when collecting and grouping data. Classifications are often hierarchical, which means they can have groups within groups that are useful when data is collected at one level and reported at another. Classifications are commonly used to categorize occupations, industries, education status, as well as other social and demographic data. To demonstrate how all of this can be done in Aristotle, we're going to look at a classification published by the Australian Bureau of Statistics called the Australia and New Zealand Standard Classification of Occupations. This classification groups together people's job titles so that census data collected in both countries is standardized and comparable. As you can see, this classification, like all metadata in Aristotle, has a name and a description. Classifications can also record how they are structured as well as describe all of the meanings of the levels in the classification as well. This will be useful later on when we look at how this information can be extracted from Aristotle through the API. One important feature specific to classifications is the groups or items used to classify data. These can be viewed from the classifications viewer tab. This tab shows the complete list of items within the classification and each layer can be expanded or closed to show more detail. Clicking on one of the items will show more information about this classification item, including its code and title, any explanatory notes, and alternative titles and details that include or exclude data from this group. If you want to know if certain groups exist in the classification, you can search through the items and filter by classification level to help guide you to the right information. Selecting any of the search results will then load that item's details and show you its position in the classification structure. Aristotle also allows you to link related classifications so you'll be able to see if an item has a mapping to one in another classification. For example, we can see that this item, Health Information Manager, links to a group in the International Standard Classification of Occupations. All of this information can be edited directly in Aristotle using the Edit Classifications Items action, where you can edit these items and fields individually. And if you need to restructure the classification, you're able to drag groups which updates the classification viewer once the item has been saved. Like all metadata in the Aristotle Metadata Registry, classifications can be registered and reviewed, have audit tracking, and can be linked together to show how metadata has changed over time. Lastly, because of how Aristotle structures metadata, Every field and all details about every level and every item can be accessed from the Aristotle API. So you can use Aristotle to manage and govern your classifications and it can be integrated with your other data tools as well. Classifications are an important part of metadata management and now you know how you can view and manage these in your own Aristotle metadata registry. If you'd like to know more, you can view this and other examples by going to aristotle.cloud and searching for our user guides, or you can get in contact with us at hello at aristotlemetadata.com. Thanks for watching.